Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I asked you guys, um, I asked you guys on Instagram what you like seeing and a lot of you guys did actually say that you like the vlogs and it's a good thing because that's definitely one of the types of videos that I want to do more. Um, so yeah, it's the first vlog of 2021 and one of my New Year's resolutions this year was to go for more runs. So I'm going for a run. <laughs> I haven't run in about, I don't know, I tried to run a little bit this summer and it's awful because where we used to live was quite hilly. Um, yeah, I'm going to try run again. Yeah, I've been dreading it for ages, um, but if I want to get good at it, I need to start doing it. So I'm going out for a run. This is what I am wearing. It is first thing in the morning, just wearing a very, very plain black outfit. Um, I'm also trying to eat healthy as well, like I went food shopping yesterday and we bought loads of really healthy food. Anyway, let's go on this run. It was years ago, but how can I forget? We were 16 up all night, love and heartbreak was our life. We got drunk and smoked your dad. Okay guys, so I ha I've had to vlog on my camera, no, on my phone, because my camera just broke. This is such a sad moment. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I've been filming some YouTube videos and, um, and I've been shooting some outfits as well for Instagram because I just want to do more home con content. I feel like you guys really like the home content. It's so much easier to do as well. Um, compared to like shooting outside and having to like go all the way into central Leeds and um, yeah so I'm really really sad I'll show you guys what my camera looks like but I feel like I wouldn't be a YouTuber if I didn't have a broken Canon G7X and um, I mean I've sent I've um, sorted the repair so it's going to get repaired so that should be all right but um i don't know how that long that's going to take probably weeks and i don't know if i can i don't know what i'm going to do i mean i have my other camera but the g7x is i'm using it more and more and more every day <sighs> kind of tempted to get a new one so yeah um the screen um all the screws that were attaching the screen onto the camera were loose and some of them had fallen off so i was literally attaching them i was literally attaching the camera through tape um and then the tape fell off um and then i dropped the camera to be honest i did drop it and then the screen just completely just fell off it just fell off so hopefully they will be able to replace it um or fix it sorry but if not they said that they'll be able to replace it because i because i know what i'm like i know what i'm like and i knew that this camera everyone breaks it and i am clumsy at times um but yeah i'm just filming some outfits videos giving you guys a little sneak peek but i think that outfits video would have gone up before anyway so hopefully you should have seen this video already so i'm finally taking down the christmas tree I've taken down all the bobbles and I put it in that top shop box and um yeah I'm very sad to say goodbye to it. Cigarettes. Dreamt of a life in a big town, skyscrapers and neon lights. show you what my living room looks like without um the christmas tree so i'm going to quickly show you that this is what it looks like without the christmas tree christmas tree was in that corner there we've moved the chair along and then moved the light there i hate hate the wire with a passion but when i'm sat down i can barely see it and sometimes the door is open so we don't see it but yeah, we are going to try and fill this little, do something there, because it's very empty. But yeah, 
I don't like too much stuff anyway, so I'm I'm okay with it being empty. Eventually, we will paint the wall. We need to put the TV up. Just need to find someone to put the TV up. Um, but yeah, that is what the living room is looking like so far. Also, I'm gonna do like a house tour or something of that nature, house update. I don't know, but. Um, I'll show you guys this room properly. If not, um, if you can't wait that long, then follow me on my house page. I'll link it in the description box. And uh, I've showed a lot of things there. My living room, our master bedroom. Just go and follow me on our Instagram page. Good morning, everyone. So I, Jack and I are just heading into town. So I thought I'd quickly show you guys what I'm wearing. Ignore my very, ignore my very dry hands on the noise downstairs <laughs> so i'm wearing this jumper dress which i got last year from top shop it's really long um i've barely worn it to be honest but i just woke up this morning and i was like i'm wearing this today my necklace is my soma coat is h&m boots are my top shop boots which um i've talked about quite a bit now and then for my bag, I'm actually wearing my Burberry bag because um, I hardly worn it because I'm always worried that if it rains, then it's obviously going to get damaged. But the weather looks really good today. So um, we're just heading in town to run some last minute errands before we go into another lockdown. Um, so, yeah. Good morning, everybody. So I thought I'd do a little getting ready with me and kind of briefly talk about um, 2021 goals. Not that I really have any major goals and kind of just reflect on goals that I set myself last year. And obviously some goals were obviously not met, obvious, but um, just kind of have a little chit chat about all that kind of thing and like the pressure of goals and all that kind of if you get what I mean. I thought I would do it in a get ready with me format because um, I was going to do a whole video on like my 2020 reflection and all that kind of thing but I don't know it just gave me it just made me feel negative it just made me feel really negative because and I've seen a few of these videos and they're great, don't get me wrong, but I just overall feel really negative even talking about it. It was just such, it was just a horrible year for so many people. And I just, I just don't I didn't want to do it like, a, I didn't want to do like a whole video on it. I just wanted to do it kind of, I just wanted to briefly discuss it um, in vlog format and kind of get ready. Also, I asked you guys on Instagram what you want to see on my channel. Some people said makeup videos. I'm not going to do makeup videos just because, I mean, the makeup, the beauty industry is just, people have just stepped up. Um, so there's so many amazing, talented people and honestly, I don't want to burden you, burden you with my terrible skills. I mean, I'm good at doing my own makeup and I enjoy doing that, but I can't really teach people how to do makeup. I just do makeup the way that I like doing it. And also, somebody asked about how I did my makeup for New Year's Eve, so I thought I would just show you guys how I did that. I used the Naked palette from Urban Decay, Naked Honey palette. I've had this for quite a while now, actually. I think Jack actually got me this for Christmas. No, not Christmas. I don't know when he got me this, but it was a while back. But I've barely used it, really. But it's such a nice palette so i used this for new year's eve and i kind of dabbled into other palettes but i think i might just stick to this because it's pretty much got everything so i'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and then i'll come back and start with the eyeshadow because pretty much the only thing i'm going to show you is my eyeshadow everything else it's just the same so watch my other makeup videos um i'll link them down below i think actually so just like that, my eyebrows and foundation are done. I use my Huda Beauty foundation and my Isla eye pencil. If you hear any talking, Jack's just in his office. Um, so let's go in with the eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna go in with like a really warm um, shade in the crease. It's like a warm brown. It's not quite an orange. It's deeper than an orange, like a burnt orange color. Because I always like to run that kind of colour in the crease 
because regardless of what look I'm doing, I like it to be warm. Literally, there's no technique to this at all. I don't really want to talk about the pandemic, to be honest, because it happened last year and it's continuing on this year. If you're in the UK, we are in another national lockdown, which to be honest, it's awful, but I think it was needed. I just hope that this lockdown, obviously, I just hope that this lockdown actually helps us and with the vaccine and everything, yeah. But let's talk about some of my goals for 2021. My main goal last year was to graduate. That was my main goal and I did it. Final year was obviously a bit of a letdown. I didn't have a graduation, we didn't have a graduation, no ceremony, no nothing. Kind of just like graduated and finished my degree in my bedroom. Um, but I'm not complaining. I was able to concentrate, do my work. And I came up with a grade that I really wanted. I got a 2-1 at uni, very, very happy with that. Um, so that was my main goal. One of my other goals that isn't really related to my degree or career or anything like that was that I talked about friendships and um, I had a few people actually message me about this, about friendship and struggles with, you know, making friends as an, as an adult, weird calling myself as an adult because really I still feel about 15 and I talked about my struggle with that and just not like struggle with just not having that many friends or not having that many like close friends um, and obviously 2021 was not the year to socialise. I'm just going in with that colour there, it's called Drip. Um, so to be honest, I didn't make any friends last year, um, but I mean, although I didn't manage to make any friends um, like in real life, I feel like I've made and established some good friendships um, online and through social media and like friendships, I mean, just these might not be people who I speak to every day or call or definitely not call, but these are people who I regularly speak to online. And um, that was one of the main reasons why I decided to make my Instagram is because um, my Instagram and YouTube is because I wanted to connect with like-minded people and I feel like because everybody was at home on their phones scrolling through the internet trying to find ways of entertaining themselves and um, I just was, I feel like I've been able to establish really good friendships, online friendships or find really nice people online that I speak to regularly. I also feel like I've made some really good friends um, in terms of like social, in terms of social media, like girls who I shoot content with. I've been able to really connect with those kind of people because we essentially um, have the name, the same hobby. We have, we're in the same kind of industry. I don't know if you'd call it that. So even though I've not made any like real life friends, I've managed to find some really good friendships, which I'm really grateful for. And another thing that I am so grateful for is you guys and speaking to you. I speak to some of you guys on a daily basis um, or on a weekly basis. And I'm just so appreciative of that. Um, either we talk on Instagram, we talk on YouTube. And I see you guys, I see the ones that comment regularly. I see the ones that, you know, pop up in my DMs and want to chat, I, I see that and I am so grateful for that. Like if you're watching this video and you know who you are, if you're one of those people that always comments and always talks, and we always talk, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. And I'm glad that we've been able to kind of, I don't know, be friends or be online friends. I'm just gonna go with this shade here before I continue. And it's called, um, it's called Amber. I'm just going to put that on my lid and that's a simple as well. Um, I feel like I'm still kind of on that quest to find um, like my best best friend or whatever and but it's not even like I'm on a quest to find my best friend because I'm not like actively like trying to force friendships um, but I do feel like I do have some really good friends. I do have some really good friends. I have friends from my like, old jobs that I've had that I've stayed in contact with who are really close with. I have um, some friends from school that I've stayed in contact with. I have some friends that I've met online, like through Instagram and YouTube and all that kind of thing that 
I've stayed in contact with. Um, I, I'm just, I'm really content and I feel really happy that I'm at that place where I am content with my friendships. So I'm just gonna pop some eyeliner on. Okay, so I've brightened up my camera a little bit, so hopefully it should be a little bit better. Um, that was basically it for my eyeshadow. I think for New Year's Eve, I actually put on like a slightly darker shade in the corners here. Now, the second thing that I want you to talk about is <sighs> mental health struggles and kind of like career. Um, I can't remember when I talked about this, probably like September, October time. I put my stories about feeling like I'm having a quarter life crisis and um, and I did actually talk about it on YouTube as well didn't I? Um, going in with the Maybelline Instant Rewind Concealer um, and I kind of wanted to briefly talk about it because I think I feel like what triggered my feeling of being in a quarter life crisis was um, kind of career related and feeling like, what am I doing? How do I feel about this? Where am I going with this? Am I enjoying this? <laughs> I look crazy, don't I? Um, yeah, this is the most honest I've kind of been about this just because before I kind of felt like, I don't know, who's watching my videos and, um, I don't want to upset anybody but yeah I'm gonna be honest and say that my quarter life crisis it wasn't a quarter life crisis I really think um kind of was surrounded around career and thinking what am I doing where am I going with this am I enjoying this is this what I want to do and I do also think if I'll talk about this any further that I understand that how I'm feeling right now or how I felt is totally normal. Speaking to a lot of people the same age or older, they've kind of, which has been really, really helpful. I spoke to those people, especially through my Instagram, that have ex uh, shared their experiences. I, I know that how I'm feeling or how I was feeling is totally normal. Um, so I'm not here saying like, oh, this is just such a unique experience. I know this is normal. I understand that I'm only 24, so my career and all that kind of thing could change and could mould into different things and all that kind of thing. And obviously it doesn't help with the kind of year that we've had where the job climate has just been a bit difficult. <laughs> Knowing what I want to do with my life um, has, has been... Uh, a bit of a difficult thing for me this year really um it has been a bit of a difficult thing for me this year um i do think it's important to do something or have a career or do something or because your job is something that you do every single day it has to be something that you enjoy it has to be something that you want to do and you have to be around people that you like you don't have to love them or absolutely you know be really close with them but you have to be on people who you like and people who make you feel good and feel positive and all that kind of thing and i've struggled with that this year i really really have um i don't really know what to say because you know you're like i want to if it was just me and you if it was just me and you we can just talk but because this video is going to go out onto the internet I don't know what to say. I feel like it's too soon to say anything, really, too much. I just feel like I'm in a weird bubble in life and it's totally normal. I graduated last year and all that. Um, and I don't need to have everything figured out right now. I'm still really, really young. Um, and I'll figure things out, which is really, really exciting. I don't think this year there's gonna be much change or much difference um because we're still dealing with the whole covid situation but i hope in the future where things have settled down and things feel a little bit more normal whatever that feels um i hope that 
I will feel like I have more guidance and I have more of, I know exactly where I want to be or what I want to be doing. I'm just in a weird space right now and I had not so great experiences last year. I do feel like I am on the right path towards finding that. But things are just hard this year just because of the whole, all things have been hard for the last few year, uh, last year also because of the whole COVID situation. But I hope I'm on, I'm in the right path and I'm doing the right thing and I'm going in the right direction. Um, but it has been something that has massively got me down last year. Really, really down. Um, and the only person who I've really spoke about it is like friends here and there and Jack really um yeah <sighs> okay so I'm gonna do my hair now um I've really been enjoying curling my hair so that's what I'm gonna do today you can see a little bit of a wave from the last time I curled my hair a lot of people hyped the Dyson air up and I was like eh, I'm not really bothered and then all of a sudden, I want the Dyson Air app. Now, if you have it, and now if you have it, do let me know. Is it worth it? Um, it's just really expensive, so I'm like, if I can get a good curl with what I've got, why do I to spend hundreds? How I curl my hair is very, very simple. There's no real technique to it. I split my hair in half, and then I take four big pieces, and I just like wrap it up. This is what my hair looks like after it's been curled. It's very tight curls, um, so, and I like to brush them out. So, But before I do that, I want to let my hair cool because if I brush it out too soon, then actually my hair ends up quite bushy. So I'm just gonna let it cool for like a few, like 10 minutes or something. But I have a Ricci parcel that's just arrived this morning that I want to share with you so we'll do that because I need to shoot those outfits and send off for approval so let's do a little unboxing and I kind of wanted to round off that whole section I didn't say too much because I'm just really I'm, well, I want to be cautious about what I share on the internet of course as anybody would be um, but last year it was a very up and down year for me and for other people which means that I really don't have any expectations for this year. Um, like I said, if I'm happy and I'm healthy and I'm with my loved ones, then I think that I'm more than happy just for that. So I have no huge major goals um, in terms of just like life goals. The only goal I actually really have or New Year's resolution that I had was I wanted to become like a jogger like one of the people that goes out jogging every morning and um, I have been out jogging a couple of mornings now and I've actually really enjoyed it I've been using an app called couch to 5k which I found out about through someone and um, the app has been great so it kind of guides guides you on your first and um, on your first runs and it tells you when you should be running and when you should be walking which is really 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 good it's helped me massively I've done it a few times now it's really really helped um, and I'm actually really excited to go on my next run I'm not going on a run this morning but yeah, I'm excited to go on my next run um, and that's literally the only goal I have this year and um, obviously there's goals I have goals on like career goals and 
of that kind of thing and what I want to do with myself and where I want to be by the end of the year or whatever but I don't really want to share them because they're kind of like really personal <laughs> um, but I'm just so grateful for having this channel like my YouTube channel means so much to me I started it when I was going through a really really hard time and I was trying to desperately find people to connect with and um, in the last couple of years I've been so consistent with it and I'm just so grateful for the connections that I have made through YouTube and through social media and it definitely has downsides to social media but I it's, it's really helped me <laughs> So this is my box from Feature. I'm literally going to open it and share with you guys and then I'll do like a try on. Um, I'll just do like an overlay try on because otherwise this video could be really long. I will link everything down below because a lot of these things um, are very new in. Um, so you should be able to get the majority of them even though things start really quick. So the first thing that I got is a vest. The vest trend I wasn't so keen on at the beginning of the, like at the beginning of when it kind of started and but since then I am so obsessed with the vest trend. Um, I love it, I really do love it. And yeah, so this was in this camel colour. It's kind of washed out on camera. Just like a vest like that, it's got cable details, can you see that, no can you, yeah you can see the cable detail there, um, and it's a v-neck and oversized, perfect, material's really soft, I'm very happy with that. So the next item is this, I love, love, Beach is really good at doing, the, uh, at doing this, but it's like a colour block knit jumper, so it's got like cream sleeves, like that, and then, so this colour is like a darker brown, even though it doesn't look dark, and then the other side is slightly lighter, um, but yeah, and it's a roll neck, and I picked one up in a medium to large, again, very soft material, um, not itchy at all, and I think I'm probably going to wear this, I'm going to shoot some videos today, so I will probably wear that to shoot some of my videos oh i hope these fit <laughs> i really hope these fit so the next thing i picked up are the beverly super high rise straight jeans these have pretty much no elastin in them but yeah i hope they actually fit me because these look really nice they've got nice rips on the knees um, and they are in a size 29. I usually go between 30 or 29 um, and these have got a button fly instead of a zip. These look like they may not fit, I'm not sure. Um, we shall see. Oh. So, um, the next thing that I got is like a, the lighting in here is just awful, I'm so sorry. Um, the next thing I got is this kind of knit jumper dress. I thought not only would I love to shoot that, I will absolutely love to wear this. Now obviously holding it like this is not doing it any favours. But it's like a midi length um, oatmeal -y colour dress. And then the last thing which I got is a pair of jeans. I got these in a size 9 and they're just a pair of like all black jeans. The reason why um, I got these, oh, actually I have rips on the knees. Um, the reason why I got these is because even though I have black jeans, is that obviously, um, I've said this about a million times, but but somebody might be like, why, why are you getting black jeans when you have about a million pairs? It's that with brands, they often like you to wear their new in items, so um, that's that. And then, the last thing that I got are a pair of shoes. I picked up these brown boots. These are really, really nice. Yeah, they're gorgeous. I don't have, I don't think, you guys can probably correct me because you watch my boots collection video, but I don't think I have any in boots in this chocolatey brown colour. 
really nice. It's like a first grade chocolatey brown. Last thing I'll show you guys is a bag. Yeah, nice. And then the last thing which I got is just this little satchel bag. Um, I saw it on the website and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous and I think it paired really nicely with all the outfits I'm showing. Um, I don't have any like medium sized bags like this um, and I do like to alternate between my designer handbags and my non-designer handbags. Like, I, I love wearing them still so I'm not like a, I don't only wear designer handbags. Um, I love to wear my non-designer handbags. Sometimes it's nice to be discreet. Anyway, satchel bag, and then let's see how it opens. How does it open? Does it even open like that? I do not know. Ah, yeah, there we go. And then it just opens like that. It's a really good size bag, and um, I think this would be really nice in summer. It gives me like boho chic vibes, which I love. I just realized that I didn't actually end this vlog, so here I am saying thank you so much. If you got to the end of this vlog, then yeah, thank you. I feel like it's been a very like up and down vlog. Um, my mood, I feel, I'm just editing it and my mood's kind of like up and down. I think, cause I'm just, I'm, I think it's because I'm talking about topics which are um, a little bit awkward. Um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed watching and um, I've tried to be as honest as I can with you and kind of open up a bit more. This is the whole point about vlogs. It's about who is, who am I behind all the fashion? Like, what do I do? I just kind of connect with my audience. This is like the whole point. I just want to connect with you. I feel like we're friends. Anyway, <laughs> right. I'm going to let you guys go and um, yeah, our plans for the rest of the evening is we are getting fish and chip takeaway tonight. I'm so excited about that. Um, and then we're just going to have a nice chilled evening. Yeah, I'm sending you all of my love um, to everybody in lockdown, everybody in the US and everything that's going on there. Oh, 2021 is already a bit of a struggle, isn't it? I'm sending you all of my love. And I'll catch you in my next video, which will hopefully be a H&M haul if that order decides to finally arrive. <laughs> right, bye!